Hi, I am Dr. Neha Podar from Podar Nursing Home, Ghazibad. I am a gynecologist and a laparoscopic surgeon. I am here to talk about polycystic ovarian syndrome. Polycystic ovarian syndrome is a hormonal disorder which occurs in women of reproductive age group. It is increasingly common nowadays in all the women. And usually in, uh, we experience at least 50% of the women coming with PCOS these days. It usually starts at the time of puberty but can appear later on in life in response to obesity, excessive weight gain. Women with PCOS usually experience delayed periods. The women come with delayed menstrual cycles and on ultrasound uh, we see multiple small cysts in both the ovaries. Hence the name polycystic ovarian syndrome. Other features can be androgenic features due to excessive of male, excess of male hormone in their bodies like uh, excessive acne, hair growth over face and rest of the body, some androgenic features like uh, male pattern baldness and in severe cases there can be hoarseness of voice also. Uh, there are certain long term effects of polycystic ovarian syndrome like obesity. Most important is infertility. Women can have hard time in conceiving when they have PCOS due to delayed cycles, their ovulation is not very regular. Other long term effects can be metabolic diseases like diabetes mellitus, hypertension. There can also be some dark colored patches over their skin. Obesity. Other long term effects can be slightly increased risk of endometrial carcinoma. The women with all these features can have a low self-esteem and slightly increased risk of depression. Women with PCOS who get pregnant can have increased risk of abortions, increased risk of preterm labor, gestational diabetes mellitus, gestational hypertension. Coming on to treatment of polycystic ovarian syndrome, the most important thing is lifestyle modification. Lifestyle modification includes three important things. First is dietary changes. Fat content should be reduced in the diet. Outside food and packed food should be very much curtailed. Other things include increasing the fiber intake in diet and increasing fluids. Second comes weight reduction. Weight reduction is very important. Reducing as low as 5 to 10 percent weight in an obese woman with PCOS induces spontaneous ovulation and she can conceive naturally. Other things is increasing the level of physical activity. Moderate to severe physical activity at least three to four times a week is very important for maintaining a healthy PCOS. Take home message is eat healthy and stay active. I hope that my talk was helpful to you. You can contact me through library at Pudar Nursing Home, Ghazibad. Thank you.